So I've been uh, making wires, uh, replacement wires or up, upgraded uh, wiring for um, for the internal components. Just giving an example, an idea of what I'm doing here. Um, this is sort of a crappy wire that was uh, um, sent along with the tweeter, um, the BNC uh, tweeter. And uh, you can see it's just, you know, standard stuff. Um, uh, standard, you know, cheap connections and different things like that. Um, not, not debating how much is better or whatever. If there's any difference, maybe there's no difference. Um, but again, um, you know, I'm trying to, you know, just make this build as, um, you know, at as high build quality as I can. So, um, so I've made um, uh, replacements for these. This is a much better, um, much better, nicer wire. Um, so it's not super crazy wire. This is the brand here. Cord, speaker cable. Um, I don't know. It's a German company. I got it. Uh, I actually just got it from Amazon. Um, just OFC, but it's actually really nice um, jacketing on here. Like it's just it's really easy to work with. Nice and flexible stuff like that. Um, I did put uh, nicer terminals on here. Of course, with the you know the clip style terminals are just these little small speed connectors and um, they're actually quite hard to find in good quality uh, they're mostly you know mostly you are going to find these these sort of cheaper little fork you know fork connectors um, but these are um, these are uh, uh, Furatech brand, uh, brand and I can't I don't think I can get it to focus here on the on the uh, camera is too shiny but anyways these are um, solid copper rhodium plated um connectors and uh, yeah way too too pricey and everything else but um you know they're they're decent they're actually quite strong as well which is what i like they're not flimsy like these cheap four connectors they're quite strong um and uh and quite thick and so um certainly they're going to be better uh how much better who knows but they're they'll be good for um you know the screw down connectors and um on the on the uh, crossover networks and these will last a, a lifetime and so I've, I've put them on here um um you know good crimp connection uh heat shrink down here and just marked obviously um positive and, and negative and uh they should be should be good to go and then on the other end um just got some uh decent um spade connectors again just some you know little heavier um, gold plated connectors uh, for the the tweeter the tweeter end. So and I'll be doing that for all of the uh, all of the internal wiring and uh, hopefully it'll be uh, you know again good to last for for a lifetime. So I'm starting to uh, get the rest of the the components put in here. Uh, so I'll just give you a, just a quick uh, look here before I get everything all the way in there. But you can see hopefully it's not too dark. Um, you can see the uh, the tweeter uh, up there, uh, the mid horn. You can see the uh, the little risers that I or um, supports that I made there. Um, looks a little, you know, I don't know. Looks a lot nicer than just a, a metal L bracket, I think. Um, and I've just got the uh, the uh, uh, half of the network put in. Uh, put in place here and so you can see how much room again it takes up in there like the whole basically every bit of free space that's in there so um uh anyways it's it's getting in there just got to put the tweeter network in here and get that connected and uh get the uh, mid horn um, uh, driver mounted and pretty well pretty well we're done um this just a couple Piece of and again you can see the um, binding posts uh, in here for uh, the woofer and uh, obviously those will get connected to uh, to the network here as we go. Uh, one piece of advice again if you're doing these, um, it has to go. <clears throat> the stuff has to go in in a certain order. Or you won't be able to get it in. Um, so the mid horn has to go in first before uh, you put the tweeter in. If you put the tweeter in first. You won't be able to get you won't be able to get the front of the horn um, uh, past the uh, the driver uh, on the tweeter it won't fit. So the horn has to go in first, then the tweeter, 
um, then obviously your your networks and and stuff like that. Um, so just uh, just a little bit of um, caution there. But anyways, um, it's coming together really well. So everything uh, fit in, all the pre-drilled holes and everything <laughs> lined up. Uh, it was a good idea to do that because uh, I would there's just wouldn't be enough space to work here. So um, so that was a good idea. Um, again, if anybody is uh, trying to do one of these um, um, on their own, so. There you go. Okay, so I've got this one 100% uh, done now, or I, I should say 100% assembled. There's still um, a couple of cosmetic things I need to do um, with this one, but basically this speaker is ready to go, uh, ready to be used, and so um, we'll, we're going to test it out here. Uh, well, I'll test it, test it out here in a bit. Anyways, uh, you can see now from the front with all the um, drivers loaded and uh everything there just changes the look of things obviously um looks looks pretty good um if we come around here just gonna walk around my furniture here um we come around to the rear you can now see um see the inside uh, of the cabinet you can see it's pretty tight in there um to get everything in there so everything is uh done i'll try to get a little closer here so here you can see um the uh, uh mid driver it's a 55g uh on there um this is all my wiring that i made um made up for this thing um the uh alk uh, crossovers in place, uh, the mid squawker um, network and the tweeter network uh, over here. Um, this red cord is essentially the umbilical between uh, between the two. And uh, other than that, that's that's pretty much it. So uh, so it's this one's ready to go, um, and we'll give it a try here, and uh, just make sure everything is is working as advertised. Okay, here's a quick shot of uh, speaker number two um, being assembled in the correct way, which is uh, which is mid horn first. Um, and so uh, obviously this is the, the better way uh, of doing this. You've got lots of space to work um, to get the horn in there and uh, you know deal with any issues. So it's just a nice look, you can see my uh, woofer binding posts in there everything's there so then it's tweeter next uh crossover networks make my connections and then we are complete all right so here we are finished product um everything is in place and uh and set up here in my listening room and uh just give you a little uh, look at them. So they're connected to uh, my tube amplifier over here. Here's a look at the finished product up close with uh, some custom badging that I had um, that I had made or I had I found I guess from a supplier uh, on eBay. Just a finishing touch. I decided at the end not to go with grills. I did make a grill, wasn't happy with the way it turned out, the way it looked. So I think um, I'm gonna leave it on the front. Here's again, just a look at the finished uh, product. Cabinets came out um, quite, quite well, I think. Overall, I look here at the other, the other one. Again, um, good look here at here at the front, those are um, badges are um, are copper. A little nice finishing touch on there, I think. And uh, basically, basically that's them. And uh, and uh, we'll have just a little listening test. Apologize for the for the the uh, type of music here. It's not exactly my type, but um, of music, but just something that I think won't. Um, get blocked or or copywritten just um some cuban cuban music that i had kicking around here so here let's have a listen
Alright, just a little test listen. Um, sounds great. I'm sure the sound doesn't isn't gonna come out too uh too uh too well over YouTube, but uh sounds fantastic, uh, especially with um instrument uh, instrumentation, um female voices, things like that. Sounds fantastic. Um just from you know from recollection and from listening to other other Los Scalas, this setup I would say is uh is definitely more refined um i think that's got a lot to do with the crossover um i'm sure i'm sure it does to, to be honest and also um a superior a superior tweeter than uh the original k77 so i think that's a big big part of it and that mid driver is uh i would say also um a much superior driver to um to the original um k55 driver so so it's um you know all those all those things together i think um is made for for a really great pair of speakers um you know i think they look they look great um much better than than uh, anything like i said that would have come from the factory so i'm really happy um with them and um and um yeah i think they'll be they'll be here for a long long time so uh definitely i think a project that was worth worth the effort All right, so uh, so that's a wrap on this project. Um, thank you for uh, to everybody for sticking around with me. If you've watched these videos all the way through to the finish, uh, if not, um, or you're just looking at this this last one, um, certainly these videos are uh, are designed. You know, pick your spot um, if you're if you're doing this project or you just want some uh, insight on a particular. Uh, part of the project um, then hopefully these videos will help you in in whole or in or in part um, the project just to just a few conclusions I guess or a few uh, finishing points just to pass on on this one so this was uh, I picked away at this project over a period of months and and um, probably started it in uh, I think I started it round round about June um, finished it here in November and that was just, you know, a few hours here, here and there. I didn't work on it from start to finish. And so, uh, um, you know, um, I'm pretty busy. So I just picked away at it, but it was a nice, uh, it was a nice project to do over time. And, uh, again, I think a, a worthy, uh, project if, if it's something that you're considering doing, it's a lot of work. It's not simple. If I uh, had to do it again, I think there's things that I would do a little bit, a uh, little bit differently. Um, one thing, and I've made an adjustment in the plans that I attached, um, the, the original plans call for 60 degree, um, cuts, 60 degree bevel cuts, um, for, um, you know, for the, the doghouse, uh, roof and so on. Um, I think that's, I don't think that's the right angle. Um, so I've suggested probably 59 and a half, um, maybe even as, as little as 59 is, is, it's hard to say, but 60 is, what happens with 60 is it's it's a little too wide and so i i figured this out afterwards i mentioned earlier in the video where the the point comes out a little bit too too far um which is what caused me to have to put the strips on um the reason for that after i you know worked it out is because with that 60 degree cut when i had to bring those sides together it forces the the tip out a little bit and uh and that's the reason why uh, I ended up a little bit, um, a little bit too far out with with the tip of the doghouse roof. And I realized this actually after watching back through the videos, um, and I could see that when I first when I first put the top and bottom on, everything actually lines up perfectly. It's when I had to pull in pull in the sides that it it pushed that um, that tip out uh, a little bit. 
And the reason for that is because the angle, that 60 degree angle is actually too wide, uh, is, is too steep. And so I think probably 59 and a half um, would, would, uh, would be sufficient. And uh, so just, just a little note if you're doing this, uh, if you take on this project. And I made, the, again, I made a little adjustment in, in the detailed, um, in, in some of those detailed plans, and you, you can see that. The other thing, of course, is, is if I were going to do it again, I'd probably make, um, I'd probably build um, um, a jig to actually put those pieces in and guarantee, you know, that it's all going to, that it's all going to fit together, the, the top and, uh, or, you know, when I'm putting together the doghouse uh, section and mounting it to the, to the motor board section um so that you you know it's going to fit in there perfectly and i think if you do that it would be um it would be fine just you know just a piece of plywood maybe with some strips um you know to 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 uh, mark out the um the exact shape of it so that would be a suggestion if i was going to do it again obviously i did it my way and i wasn't about to go back and redo it all and so it so it, it worked out well the way i did it um uh, on the other hand, going back to the strips, um, I'm glad I added those strips on the front. I do think it looks a lot better. Um, and again, I think uh, I think that's the way they should have come out from from the factory. So, um, so regardless of how you do it, I would if you're going to do this project, I'd recommend um, I'd recommend adding the hardwood strips um, on the front. I think it looks it looks like a, it's a way better job and uh, and uh, just makes the whole thing look um, you know a lot a lot better. Um, other than that, um, I wouldn't change too much. I think, um, I think everything's great. The, the crossovers, uh, the crossover networks are terrific. They're expensive. Um, but they're, but they're, they're, um, in my opinion, they're worth, worth the investment. Um, I've had done a lot of listening on these speakers now since I finished them. Um, and, and they're, it, it's, it's just great. I think it really changes the, the speaker. There are less expensive versions of it available from ALK Engineering, less expensive um, upgrades from the original, but but much less expensive than than this one, um, which I think again would probably be an upgrade over over um, you know the old stock cl uh, Klipsch crossovers. Um, there's also crossover um, crossovers available from Kreitz speakers, which uh, which are essentially modeled on on the, the various versions that came out from uh, from Klipsch. Again, they're they're all very good. Um, even the original ones were, were very good. I just think that these um, these are just a big a big step up, uh, and solves for some problems with with the speaker. Um, you know, the speaker's original designs. But um, bottom line is um, terrific, terrific. Um, you know, experience. I think doing this project, and hopefully, again, thank you for sticking around. And hopefully, if you do. Uh, decide to do something like this yourself this will be helpful to you um and uh and other than that thanks for watching and um hopefully i'll get another project out soon thanks for watching take care